know, I'm really happy for you that you could build this whole new life for yourself, but not everybody is so lucky. Why don't you just get to the part where I'm supposed to owe you? Look, the point is that, that, that your brand new life doesn't automatically erase your past, okay? I don't need to remind you that we are all guilty of making mistakes. No, Paul, you don't. You paid off a lab technician to make sure that I didn't find out that I was the father of Meg's baby. And why was I driven to do something like that? If Did it I come out of nowhere? That that child was mine. I never would have let Meg stay with Craig. I never would have fought with Craig. Meg and I would never have lost our baby. Don't you blame that on me. I'm, I'm not, not the one who made the blame Meg on you. fall. I know that I was had you. My own, my own culpability here. But but put yourself in my shoes, okay? I have a chance to be a father again, okay? And you you have a chance to make up for everything that you cost us. <laughs> come on. You gonna give that up? You say that you want to make a brand new life here. Don't you want to wipe the slate completely clean? I'll tell you what, you help me now, and we're even. It's not that simple. Yes, it is that simple. I could lose my child again, and this time you can do something about it. I'll tell you what, you do this for me, and I'll keep your little secret. And you can stay here and have this life, such as it is, for as long as you choose. Wow, that sort of sounds like a threat. All I'm asking for is a few days of anonymity. It's the same thing you've been enjoying here. Seems like a pretty fair exchange to me. You still here? Oh, Edna, uh... My friend would like to stay for a few days. Can you make that happen? My daughter and I, we're not looking for any handouts. We'll work for anything that we use. We don't take in strangers. I know. But he's not asking to stay with us permanently, just, just for a few days. I know you're going to have to run this by the committee, but... I'm sure if you say that it's okay, then the others will too. I, I wouldn't even ask if it, if it wasn't for his daughter. I mean, look at her. She's been stuck in a car seat for God knows how long, and they just need a, a few days of shelter to, to rest up, and then they'll be on their way, I promise. We will. And we are so grateful for any compassion that you can afford. We recently lost her mother. We're just trying to leave, you know, go somewhere and start a new life away from all of the bad memories. Uh, we're just looking for some place to rest up for a few days before the rest of the trip. I'm not promising anything. Oh, I really appreciate you considering it. Thank you so much. Oh, please, I didn't do this for you. Well, Eliza would thank you if she could. You know, you tried to guilt me just a second ago into letting you stay here, and then you that didn't work. You resorted to blackmail, so just save the hearts and flowers until we find out what the committee decides. Well? The committee had a lot of questions about you. So what did you tell them? Don't worry, the last thing I tell him is the truth. And, and, and what about Edna? You said that she didn't trust me. Well, she doesn't. Lucky for you, she trusts me. So based on my word, they're going to let you and Eliza stay just for a few days. There's a room in the back with a cot, and we can set up a crib and feed you guys for the next few days. But then after that, you have to leave. I would thank you. How can I thank you? Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a whole lot of time thanking me. This isn't going to be a picnic, you know? Okay. Hey, look, I'm up for whatever, you know? Early to bed, early to rise. I get it. You know, do unto others, all that jazz. These people are helping you. Don't make fun of them. I'm not. You're going to be expected to pay for everything that you use. Okay. Uh, I am maybe a little. I'm sorry. I will. Don't make me regret this. I don't worry about it, okay? I'm not going to not gonna tell anybody your secret. Paul, these people have been good to me. They helped me. They took me in when I had nothing. Okay. 
Well, I, I'll make sure that no harm comes to them ever. I swear. What is your problem? <laughs> what are you problem? smiling about? What? I can't just be happy. You're never I... just anything. Well, Paul. maybe I am, you know? Look at me. I'm in this beautiful place with my beautiful little girl. I have a few days to figure out what to do next. And it's really, it's all because of you. And I can't help but think that maybe, maybe it's destiny that has brought me here with you. Destiny? Yes, maybe I'm seeing you now for some larger purpose. Oh, come on. Cut it out. You said so yourself before it's happened. Look, you, you said that I woke you up from your coma, and in a way, you're bringing me back to life now. You know, you got what you wanted, so you don't have to sweet-talk me I'm anymore. not sweet-talking you. Hey, you and I, we loved each other once in a way that few people understand, and no matter what's happened since, that will always connect us. Honestly, Paul, I don't know if I believe in mystical connections anymore. But one thing I do know is that if you betray me or bring any harm to this community whatsoever, love or no love, you're on your own.